The thing is, in, in real estate, everybody breaks the law every single day. Like, you know, it's it's literally illegal exactly, for... Exactly. Yeah, real estate is... is uh, I've talked to people, some people in real estate, um, people that are, like, very close to me, too. And the moment they get into real estate, they all tell me, like, it's... If you're not breaking the law in real estate, you're not making any money because too many things are illegal now. Like, you know, if you're an agent, you literally, if somebody asks me, if I'm, if I have an, if I have a license, if I have a real estate license and somebody asks me, Hey, uh, this neighborhood, I'm thinking about buying a house here. Uh, what are the demographics looking like in this area? Right. Uh, you know, what kind of people live there? I can't tell them it's illegal for me to tell them because, um, there's like discrimination laws. They might go like, People have been sued like, oh, you're trying to sell this property because uh, there's a lot of black people in this neighborhood, but you're trying to make it seem like it's you're and you're not allowed to say these things like it's literally illegal to just tell people something they can look up online, like public information. It's literally illegal to do that. There's a lot of laws for this kind of thing. And it's like American real estate in general is very, very restrictive nowadays, like um. But there are also ways to take advantage of that. And this one's another shady one, but there's nothing illegal about this one. So let's say you have a competitor, right? And this is just an idea. It's just a creative idea. It's not something that we could ever do. But let's say you have a competitor. And I know a lot of people in real estate that have like big competitors. Like there's like Remax, which is a big company. And their competitor in the state that I live in is like Skyline 7, which owns a bunch of like Skylines basically. A um, bunch of like skyscrapers. And let's say your whole thing is you want your competitor to lose money, right? These companies make so much money that uh, that like to them, it's better to spend a bit of money to make their competitor lose a lot. Um, and it's really shady. And I would never do something like this. But the most important thing in real estate is zoning. Okay. Do you guys know what zoning is? No. Sure. So... Zoning is basically what you're allowed to do on a property. Um, like in a neighborhood, every single property is zoned as a residential property. You're not allowed to build a gas station, but you're not allowed to tear down your house and build a gas station. It is zoned specifically for houses. Uh, you're not allowed to like, in yeah. some places, you're not allowed to even run businesses out of your house. You're not allowed to like sell, you know, clothes out of your house because it's not zoned for that in some areas, you know? Zoning is the yeah. most important thing. If you can get your property zoned to something more, uh, you know, open and free, then even if you can't do something, you can go to an agency and tell them, hey, my property is zoned for this. So buy my property for way more than I bought it for and somebody will do it. Like, and zoning is super expensive to do. To rezone a property, to get it zoned to something better is extremely expensive. Like, for example, a skyscraper. You know, they cost so much money. They're like very, uh, you know, environmentally detrimental and that sort of thing. And like, you know, people um, are very like, oh, we don't want more skyscrapers and that kind of thing. And it there's many hurdles you have to jump through to get uh, a skyscraper zoning, right? And so let's say you have some, like your, uh, your competitor has some like big zoning thing. You could see it on the records. There's a website right here, by the way, if you want to like... I think you can sign up for this website for free for a little bit, maybe FMLS. Um, and it'll show you like you can go to any property in the United States and it'll show you the lot. It'll show you the size. It'll show you what it's zoned. It'll show you all the codes that are associated with it. It'll show you even who owns it. You can look up who owns any property. And now most of these properties are owned by companies like LLCs and the owners behind those are hidden. But a lot of times you could find the actual owners um, or you could just contact that LLC to buy the property from them. But that's like, I just put it in the chat here. It's called FMLS. Yeah, and George, real estate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can uh, go on there to, to like look up the zoning. And so if you look up like the zoning for one of your competitors, right, you see like Skyline 7 LLC owns this property and they just got it rezoned to something like, like a skyscraper, right? A lot of these like big rezones will cost like a hundred million dollars or something like an insane amount of money, sometimes more. Um, actually, a lot of times more. Some of these skyscrapers cost a billion dollars. If you want to like just make your competitor just go completely bankrupt. 
all you have to do, and this is totally shady, but it's not actually illegal. You all you have to do is bury a body on that property. So you can literally go, you don't have to kill anyone, but go to someone who like, you know, in the probate court who is uh who had a family member that was recently deceased and tell them, "Hey, I'll give you $100,000." to bury the uh, body on this land. And if the body's buried over there, they can't build. They can't do anything. If they spent a hundred million dollars on that land, I guess they're out of a hundred million dollars now. And that's- How, how is that legal? How is it, that legal? It's, it's literally, you, you wanna know how? Because Christianity influences the laws. And people, people will say like, a lot of people, a lot of people will go like, oh, there's, uh, you know, the American laws are not religious, right? They'll say that's kind of thing. They'll say it's separate, like the separation between church and state, like the law is not based on any religion. You know what it says in the law? It says burial sites are sacred. It literally says the word sacred. It's, it's, it is actually religiously influenced. And like, okay, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is completely irrelevant, but it, it literally is influenced by religion. And like, people don't even realize that. But if like, you know, if you have a direct competitor that put all their eggs into one basket, um, actually, depending on the property, you could actually, you could actually, uh, this is an easier way to do it. You take an endangered plant species, right? There's a lot of plant species that has a, have a lot of diseases um, that are plaguing them and they're endangered and they need to be protected, right? They're protected plant species. And I think for smaller properties, like that are not like hundred million dollars, but even like million dollar properties, if you want your competitor to basically be out of that property and ha be out of a million dollars, lose a million dollars, you can take a endangered plant species, plant it on that property, and they can't remove it. They're not allowed to legally, so they can't build on it anymore. And like, can't they like transfer the plant or anything? I think it. I think it. I think they can, but it would be really, really tricky. It would be really expensive to do that, um, because. You know, a lot of like uh, the American population is very like, oh, you have to protect the endangered plants and these kinds of things, right? right They're very, yeah. so it's like really, really tricky to do that sort of thing. It would cost such an insane amount of money. And I think for the very big properties, they can do it. But for anything that's like a million dollars around that much, like $5 million even, I think they would just cut their losses and just go build it somewhere else. Like it's that difficult to do that. Like there are literally cases of people like, you know how people have trees in their neighbor in their like front yard or whatever for their house there have been cases where people have like someone you know ran into someone's tree with a car and the tree got knocked down and that person got fined like half a million dollars and stuff like i'm telling you americans love their plants they love their plants